Hey, hi there. Today I wanted to talk to you about best practices and success stories. I know that quite often these things start off like sort of working titles, you know, for categories, for publications or on the website. Then somebody thinks, you know, they sound very like marketing terminology, great. And then you actually end up having these categories on your website. What is the difficulty from my perspective with that? Well, actually, what is a success? You know, who vets all the stories and makes sure that whatever you present there is actually a success? Is it not just more like a case study that has some great qualities that you want to show? But success story is probably overstating it quite a bit. And the same is with best practices. Usually your organization should have a little task force that vets all the practices that they have, that comes up with certain rules and categories that you need to fulfill. And then this is called the best practice. Because in some cases, this is really important because you need to keep certain standards. So my message today is be careful when you start with working titles that go into these directions like best practices and success stories because you end up probably using it and then you have difficulty paddling back in the end.